Hi, welcome to my session enabling self-service automation with Ansible Automation Platform. I'm going to give you an overview of the Ansible Automation Services Catalog today. My name is Nicholas Chia. I'm the Senior Principal Technical Product Manager from Red Hat APEC Office of Technology. Today's topic, I will do it I'll be doing a quick introduction of Automation Services Catalog. What is Automation Services Catalog? Automation Services Catalog is a service within the Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform that connects to your existing Ansible Tower instances. It helps to bring your pre-built automation and presents it as a hosted service catalog. Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform introduces Automation Services Catalog, a new hosted service for Red Hat Ansible customer to extend their automation in a controlled way to various end users who need it. It can connect to multiple Ansible Tower instances and present automation resources on the Automation Services Catalog sets across various infrastructures. Automation Services Catalog allows customers to organize and govern product catalog sources on Ansible Tower across various environments. There are three types of persona Automation Services Catalog will help immensely. The first persona is a business user. This is an end user who needs to request a change. This change could be to request a new project in OpenShift or a virtual machine, physical server. In fact, anything that usually requires creating a ticket to IT operations. Ideally, his or her requests are on demand. The next persona is an Ansible Automation Administrator. This end user governs the use of automation. He or she is someone who oversees the execution of automation that end users invoke. And also someone who makes automation available to end users. Ideally, he or she likes to be able to delegate the use of automation. Lastly, the third persona is IT operations and site reliability engineers. Traditional IT operations wishes to use Ansible automation to control and manage their environments and platforms. An SRE user would like to govern high-profile changes through the use of continuous delivery integrations. When we look at services catalog in the market, there are commonly three solutions that are in the market now. First, there's we realize automation. This is quite a complex solution which can lack easy business governance. Secondly, we have ServiceNow. ServiceNow is a popular enterprise catalog delivering phones services, desk services, and people moves, and IT services. Ansible Automation Services Catalog complements ServiceNow easily by shortening the integration time to Ansible Automation Platform and simplify governance. The third service catalog we want to look at is Amazon Service Catalog. Amazon Service Catalog is an Amazon-only solution restricted to AWS. Automation Services Catalog can easily displace this solution with a hybrid alternative that can serve and user services from many clouds and traditional infrastructure. Let's quickly do a demo to get you quickly introduced to Ansible Automation Services Catalog. To get to Automation Services Catalog, you point your browser to cloud.redhat.com. Once there, click on Login. Once we have logged in, we go to the right side, Red Hat Ansible Automation Platform tile, 
and click on Automation Services Catalog link. This will bring us to Automation Services Catalog. Once in Automation Services Catalog, we will be on the Portfolio page. From Portfolios, you can see the Automation Services Catalog is designed to have a familiar experience, providing an easy and intuitive user interface for ordering products. The idea is that those using Automation Services Catalog may not know what they are ordering is actually Ansible Automation. For example, a product could be a business function like ordering a new OpenShift cluster to work on a project, or it could be work onboarding a user to a new platform. Let's click on OpenShift Workshop Portfolio tab to see how to order a new set of OpenShift clusters for my workshop. Within the portfolio, I can see two associated product tiles. The administrator will connect their Ansible Tower servers to the Automation Services Catalog. Multiple job templates or workflows can be added as products to one or more portfolios. This means that you can have one job template shown in the catalog many times, which allows you fixing the parameters or settings driving automation for each product. This means you can have a small, medium or large offering for one job template, making it easier for users to consume and provide governance for medium and large offerings while allowing the small offering to go through as auto approval. Let's click into provision tile and click on order to create a new set of OpenShift cluster. What you're seeing is a survey for Ansible Tower job template. It is represented as a product within Automation Services Catalog. Ordering a product will present the user with options to facilitate the order. You may allow the requester to customize and configure various settings needed for an OpenShift cluster. This could be provisioning the data center or applying permissions for a Kubernetes project as well. Once you have provided the details, all you need to do is click on Submit. We are not going to build an OpenShift cluster now. However, let's take a look at past orders that have been submitted. We can do this by going to Orders. Upon submitting the order, the user can see the progress of their order queue. Users can search for past orders and see those currently in progress indicated by status, including order, failed, approval pending, and completed. Orders that are pending approval can be compared with ordering a product from a website and seeing the delivery information. Users can see who needs to approve the order or any note or status on the approval. Clicking into an example order like WebSphere, you can see the order details. Going into the Approvals tab, you can see who are the approvers for this order. You can have multi-level approvals for your order as seen here. Clicking into the approval link, and clicking on All Requests tab. As an administrator, I can see and filter all requests by their statuses. Automation Services Catalog set up to help ensure that the approver could interact with the application without logging into it. This means that as an approver, you are notified via email, 
This email contains both login URL and a special URL that allows the administrator to process the request from a normal browser. This idea is that an approver may be on their smartphone out for lunch, but they can still easily click to approve, deny, or update the transcript with a comment without needing a special app or to log into Automation Services Catalog hosted services. Comments can be left for other approvers to see in the transcript, such as, can we check we have the resources in the data center for this request, or this request is on hold. Next, let's take a look at approval process tab. The approvers are notified by the system because they are in the person's group that has been satisfied in the approval process. An approval process can have multiple groups, which means that when a single approval process with multiple groups is used on a product, portfolio, or inventory, the groups are all notified simultaneously. However, it does take all groups to approve the request, so that if any groups deny the approval request, it will stop and the user will be notified that they did not get approval. When multiple approval processes are set on a product, portfolio, or inventory, the processes are executed in the order defined by the administrator. This results in each process notifying its group audience to notify to approve or deny. Example being that if production support and finance are required to approve in that order, finance is not notified until production support approves the request and only then will finance get their notification. Administrators who manage the automation services catalog often manage Red Hat Ansible automation platform as well, namely Ansible Tower Component. This person is compelled to publish more automation into automation services catalog, as more users doing self-service will lessen the burden on their role to support and execute automation. This wraps up this portion of my demo. Let's quickly do a summary of what Automation Services Catalog do for you. Let me quickly summarize this session content. Automation Services Catalog helps our customer protect their environments. This ensures that every production change request can have authorization before execution. Secondly, Automation Services Catalog helps govern resource consumption. It helps to govern resource consumption at a time. It helps govern resource consumption at the time of automation execution through per order multi-level approvals if required. Be informed of service requests for high workload consumption applications. For greater availability, easily publish more automation content for users by choosing which to govern and which not to via role-based access control. Easily create role-based access control for all your automation content from existing Ansible Tower instances. Easily enable line of business control. Each business owner can interact with their orders at their own enterprise, project, or group level easily. With that, I wrap up my session. Automation Services Catalog extends customer automation to their business users in an innovative and familiar experience. Finally, a codeless setup unleashing automation that comes with business governance to protect production systems in the form of multi-level approval. If you'd like to speak to anyone regarding Automation Services Catalog or have any question about Ansible, please reach out or contact your Red Hat account team. Thank you for attending this session.